So let's talk about example 4.77 from Keith M. Walker. So in this, before I start talking about this example, I will talk about some of the basics which we've already learned. Uh, that if there is a pin joint, uh, then uh, what kind of uh, reaction loads which we show? We show two reaction loads, one in the vertical direction R A Y, another in the horizontal direction R A X. And if there is a roller joint, we only show. I'm gonna draw the roller here. So if there is a roller joint, uh, we show all the reaction load only in the vertical direction. So that's R Y now if there is a smooth surface joint like this so what kind of uh, uh, reaction load we show so if it is smooth surface and then there's a beam which is placed on the smooth surface then we will always show the reaction load in the perpendicular direction to the surface so this is the surface this is the surface the reaction load will be in the perpendicular direction to it so in this question if i look into this question uh, and if i wanted to draw the reaction load how i'm going to draw the reaction load reaction load will be drawn perpendicular to the surface like this and if there is a spring we will treat it as just as the string and then string has the tension to it so we will show the tension in the string that's how we're going to treat the spring and if i wanted to now draw the free body diagram for this one how can I draw the free body diagram? So this is the beam and the load, one load is acting in this direction, another load acting in this direction. This is R A X. Oh, I should name it as R B. This is R B X and this is R B Y. And at point C, I will show the reaction load as in the opposite direction like this and at this point i can show the reaction load again away from the point a we'll treat again repeating i will treat this spring uh, just as the cable uh, so and this is at, at a slope of 15 and 8 so this is what's given to me and now i wanted to write down the equations for this question I'm going to change the color of the pen and uh, let's write down the equation first equation which I'm going to write down will be of sigma f of x so sigma f of x is equal to zero if I want to write down the equation in x direction the equation will look like uh, this is I'm going to name it as r r c x so r c x and then this is negative and r plus r b x and then if i wanted to sh find the components of uh, of components of this force this will be one in upward direction and one in the horizontal direction this i can name it as r a x r a y sorry and this is r a x now this will be negative r a x anything towards the left is negative anything to point it towards the right will consider it as positive is equal to zero so these are the horizontal forces acting in, on this on this body and uh, the spring this value is given to me this value is 600 680 newtons 680 newtons so if this is this is 680 newtons i will calculate x and y component can i call first of all can i call it as 17 uh, so then this r r a y value will be 680 times 15 over 17 so if i calculate this value 680 times 15 divided by 17 that's gonna give me 600 so i'm gonna erase this because i have shortage of space so i'm gonna call it this is 600 and then this component will be uh 680 680 times 8 
divided by 17 that's gonna be 320 this is 320 newtons this is 600 newtons uh, so i will feed the values rax value is how much this is negative 320 equal to zero negative rcx i don't know rcx i don't know rbx also then i will write down the equation in vertical direction so i'm going to again say sigma f of y equal to zero so r uh, how many vertical forces two forces r a y plus r b y equal to zero yeah and r a y is given to me which is 600 and plus r b y which is equal to zero i'm gonna go on to the i'm gonna try and solve it on this side can i say r b y equal to negative 600 newtons okay so i have uh, been able to find r b y uh, let's check the answer for r b y in the book so i'm gonna look for the answer so the answer is this question is 77 example 77 77 yeah this is 600 newton so i've showed it uh, because the arrow which i've considered is upward and the value i got is as negative so rby value will be 600 down and newtons right that will be the answer now i'm gonna try and solve for the part b uh means uh, i will try and solve for the remaining unknown values uh, so i wanted to find i'm gonna be, go back and see which values i wanted to find i wanted to find rcx and i wanted to find rbx these are the two values which i wanted to find uh, so what i'm gonna do is i will try and take the moment about point let's take the moment about point b if i take the moment about point b i can easily find the c value uh, so let's uh, uh, let's look into this question i will uh, go to the next page now i'll re try and redraw the diagram so it's something like this this is acting in this direction or 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 i'm gonna go back and you're gonna use this space because we've already find y component and the video is being already been recorded so i'm gonna erase this and gonna keep on using this space that will be better so if i take the moment about if i take taking the moment about point b m b equal to zero sigma m b so this rc i'm going to call it as rcx times how much of a distance is there so i don't know the perpendicular distance so this perpendicular distance of cx from point b is i have to calculate this value is this given to me no this is not given to me so what can i do hmm. So I can say if this is this total is this total is six, uh, all right, and this is two, and this total is three. Uh, so so I can I can find the slope of so I can mark it as uh, uh, this will be one this height. You can find the angle or you can uh, do by taking the proportions also uh, so this value this height will become this total height from here to down to this point this is 3 and this total distance this is 6 so and this one is 2 if this is 2 which is one third of 6 so this one third will be 1 can I call it so this distance will be perpendicular distance of rcx from rby will be one so r c x times i'm gonna change the color again so r c x r c x times one and then uh, if i take this value 
r plus this is this is trying to rotate it rcx is trying to rotate it in anti clockwise counter clockwise direction so that's why the value i've considered is positive and then if i take the 600 uh, so say plus plus or minus this will be minus 600 because this 600 is trying to rotate rotate uh, this beam about point b in a clockwise direction so 600 times uh what will be the distance now the perpendicular distance this distance will be four do you guys agree oh i will change the color again so that there is no confusion this distance is four so, so 600 times four and then 320 this will again be counterclockwise uh, so 320 times the this distance will be 2 so if this total is 3 so this distance will come out to be 2 the total this total distance is 3 up to this point uh, will be equal to 0 now I'm going to use my calculator one more time so rcx equal to 2400 and this is 364 four six four zero equal to zero and then two four zero zero plus six forty both are negative so then that's why i'm adding them rcx comes out to be three zero four zero newtons and this value comes out to be positive so the direction which we assumed is correct so i'm going to show the same direction with it so now because i've been able to find the rcx uh, so I've been able to find RCX and I will put this value back in the equation uh, let's say this is this is the equation this is I'm going to name it as equation one I'm going to put this value back in the equation and we'll try to find RBX so I'm going to erase this uh, th uh, so 3040 I'll try to remember this let's hope I will be able to remember this so 3040 see this is really important there is a negative sign over here so i'll keep the negative sign 3040 negative sign from the equation so plus uh, rbx so rbx is what i wanted to find out minus 320 equal to zero and then uh, these two add up 3040 plus 320 which is 3360 plus rbx equal to zero rbx value comes out to be this is negative three three six zero again this is a positive value so whatever direction we assumed is correct the direction we assumed was towards the right and so our values are correct so we're gonna match try and see the answer for these questions i hope the answers are correct let's match it so 3040-3360 they are correct answers so that's it for this question see you soon thank you